we try to spec up the tractor ex factory ready for the farm so more or less everything is standard you can remove things but there are only a, a few things to add like a, a front PTO or maybe a auto guidance system the rest of it is standard with the tractor and this is also easy for us because if you have a tractor in stock the tractor has always more or less the correct, correct or right spec. Can you tell me about the Fent range that we see behind us here? Uh, we have here the top models of four tractor ranges of Fent. This is the 312 with 125 horse. This is the biggest model of the 300 range. This 300 range is for mm, dairy farmers. It's also a pretty good tractor for fertilizing, spraying and all these things. We'd like to bring the wear technology below 100 and horse with this range. The 415 uh, covers the demand of the tractor to have a, a strong um, tractor with 155 horsepower, but with a four-cylinder engine. So it's a quite compact tractor, also for dairy farms or for situation where you haven't enough space for turning around. So it's, it's operated in grassland mowing and all these things. The 820 is more or less the same, but uh, a number bigger. It's a tractor with 205 horsepower. And uh, this is for, for farmers that like to have a, a strong tractor, but a small size tractor, not going into the heavy duty range of the 900. And uh, this is uh, our most uh, successful tractor range. And last year, the 818, the previous model, was our top seller. The 936 is our new flagship because uh, we have, in, we have uh, launched this 900 series on the last Agritechnica and now it's uh, coming in production from beginning of this year on. And this is the biggest tractor we have ever built at Fent with 360 horse. And the key technology of the 936 is to have a total versatile tractor in this size. Because normally in this size, above 300 horsepower, you have only heavy duty tractors designed more or less only for towing huge implement in the field, nothing else. And we offer here a tractor that could be equipped ex um, factory as well with a front PTO, with a front linkage, with a reverse drive facility. Uh, the tractor is able to go on a top speed of 60k, not in your country. Uh, so this is pretty well designed for do all the haulage work with huge uh, trailers, lorry tankers and whatever. So total versatility in this huge um, range of tractors. In cab, what sort of technologies would we see there? In cab we see um, a technology with a, a screen where you do all the adjustments, the cruise control, the oil, oil flow control from the spool valves, um, everything. Though this means reduced amount of switches and uh, a system like you know from your computer with uh, different menus. And you see as the main operating system a multifunction joystick where you can operate the tractor as well as the fitted implements. I'll show you more details later on. Now we are in the inside of the cab of the A20, the leading model of the 800 series range. The joystick is the central control of the tractor. You adjust the driving speed, the rate of acceleration and slowing down, shuttle control and also activation of cruise control. The buttons on top of the joystick are for controlling two spool valves and these four are free programmable for whatever you like to operate with it, the headland management system. The cross gate lever for the control of the two other spool valves and here the buttons for calling up maximum and minimum engine speed. This is necessary and helpful for working with PTO driven implements. The Vario TMS, the automatic tractor management system, on and off. This switch gives you the opportunity to drive in pedal mode or operate the speed of the tractor by joystick. 
Now we go to the Vario screen, the Fan Vario terminal. Here we have a menu structure included and here you do all the settings of the tractor. Let's call up the menu for the cruise control. We have two memories inside of it and here you can adjust or pre-select your decided speed. Integrated in the terminal is a full fuel measurement system with two memories and an average fuel consumption. Why might a farmer choose this more expensive brand over another type of tractor? The key of this may be the efficiency of the tractor or the lifetime costs of the tractor on, on uh, our customer's farm. Because the tractor is, when you buy it, more expensive, but during the lifetime of the tractor it earns the money back, we tell, because we'd like to keep our tractor with latest technology, with the best ever possible combination of engine and transmission settings and at the end of the day this is the reason for fuel savings and fuel is the, the biggest point of the lifetime costs of a tractor. I've noticed some very interesting suspension on the 936, could you, could you describe that a little bit? Yes, we have uh, redesigned the suspension totally, it's a double wishbone system, you may know this from your car. There are different reasons for this. Uh, you know, we have a tractor with now 360 horse, so the question is how to bring this hell of power to the ground. Um, the solution, huge tires, and these huge tires, especially in the front, normally limits the turning circle of the tractor. And the big, big uh, advantage of a double wishbone system is that during the, the suspension, the way of travel, the wheel is going more or less parallel up and down and if you have a pivot mounted front axle the, the front axle is doing this when pivoting and this means the wheel is going towards the bonnet and uh, for this it, the turning circle is limited. So we had a, a pretty good turning circle with huge tires on the front that are necessary to bring the power of the tractor to the ground. What about the suspension systems in the, in the smaller tractors? In the smaller tractors uh, we have a, an, an ordinary and a normal suspension system but we do not only focus on front axle suspension. We have a suspension system, this starts from the, or at the, at the front linkage that is, had a, a so-called suspension system with a nitrogen accumulator then the front axle suspension, then a suspended cap and for the implements fitted in the rear we have a so-called shock load stabilizing system uh, in the rear linkage. So this means a combination of different things uh, that gives you a brilliant driving comfort on the road as well as in the field.